number six, Stachi takes Geta, which Stachi takes uh, Chuda, and Stachi is putting pressure from the Geta to the middle of the Tsuka between, between both hands. So he's coming up and slightly, slightly when he comes up, slightly you're going to lower your sword just a little bit. Don't, do not have to turn your sword straight, just a little bit, to show the feeling that, okay, do not come up, okay? So from here, you go from Chuda, okay, don't come up, just a slightly lower, lower your Kensaki, but because I cannot stop him coming up, before we, he comes up completely to Chuda, I'm gonna take, mm, Hidari Jordan, taking a step backwards. Now, he and try to, you know, try to kind of uh, recover from the pressure. So I take a step backwards and take Hidari Jordan, but he didn't let me rest or recover. He, as soon as I take a step backwards, he chases you and point, because I'm uh, taking Hidari Jordan, he is pointing his Kensaki at my left hand. Now, I cannot do anything about it, so I come back to Chuda. Okay, and both comes down to Chuda, and as soon as we comes back to Chuda, we start to execute small Kote strike. And he's gonna to execute kote suriyage kote. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna take a step backwards onto the left foot. He's gonna take uh, zanshin by taking hidari jota. Okay, and then we're gonna come back to center. Common mistake is, uh, you know, for first dance, nidan, sanda, you are not asked to do too much. So make sure you remember when he comes down, don't lower your sword too, too, too low. Just the feeling of don't come up. Okay, and then before your sword touches, okay, before his sword touches your sword, you go come up to the Chida Joda. Okay, and when you take Chuda, you should be in good distance. So that is the part you have to practice. You cannot take a bigger step backwards. If you take a big step backwards, when I come down, we can't reach. So that's the thing you really have to understand. But uh, before third down, please make sure you can adjust the distance. I'm gonna go pop. Take through that. From there, and you come back to Chuda, and then, yeah, oh, get to Kote. Make sure you strike Kote. And from here, and come on, I don't say mistake, but what I see a lot is that after you, they strike Kote, they turn their body away as well. When they go, yeah, yeah, tall, right? Let's come back here. Yeah, tall. Here, right? They turn their body away from the opponent. Now, it's not necessary. Uh, instruction book doesn't say that. that. It says all it says is you strike kote, tall, tall, and then lo lower your sword and turn your sword to your left, so your blade is uh, facing downwards to the right, and then go. Pow. Okay, and some sense it might say lower your sword like that. Okay, so again, listen to your sensei. Okay, so uh, the most uh, how can I say that it stands out if you turn your body like this. It's not necessary. It's not in, in instruction book. So I think that's this is one part you should avoid.
Now, uh, Stachi takes uh, Geran and Uchitachi takes uh, Tsuda. Now, Stachi, again, Stachi is putting pressure between uh, Stachi's, uh, Uchitachi's hand, which is in the middle of the Tsuka. So from here, put pressure there, and then he's coming down a little bit, and then go, Okay, this timing is very important. Don't let your opponent come down to shoot. Uh, okay, go, mm, ooh, ooh, it's too late. Okay, so have the feeling of, okay, just, mm, stop. okay as soon as he comes, uh, goes up to Hidari uh, Jordan, you have to follow because you don't want to uh, miss the opportunity. You are kind of uh, uh, putting him, him on the, in the corner. Okay? And then come down to Chudan and Kote Suriyage Kote. Okay? Pum. Make sure you turn your sword, use your Shinogi part when you do Suriyage. Okay? Suriyage Kote. And then goes up, take Zanshin, and come down to Chudan. Common mistake of Suriyage is when he strike Kote, your opponent strike Kote you tend to go like this. So, strike kote, like this, okay? If you do that, right, he's still, he can get you, okay? This doesn't do much. So, suriyage is, uh, remember to do suriyage from the front part of the sword, not here. If you do suriyage here, it's quite likely you're gonna be too late. It comes down, okay? Even if you do good suriyage, you may be too late. So this part, you wanna, you wanna deal with uh, uh, your opponent's sword as quickly as possible, so you go, pum, this part. Okay, so that way, your, your opponent's sword goes out of your way. And then, tall strike, you can get your, your opponent's kote. Okay, so again, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna do this. As you can see, your opponents might get you. So, uh, a little hint or a little uh, advice. It's like going forward, okay, going forward, and down. It says half circle. Okay, half circle. Tang tang. Okay. Tang to. Tang to. Okay. So if you can do it, moving forward and down, you are good. So practice that. I know it's short on Nida and Sandan level. It's pretty hard. That's why you need to practice. Bad thing you do. This. Okay, you don't want to do that. Okay, forward. And then, take Zash. Okay, those are important parts of uh, number I six. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kindle for life.